I'm still in the back seat. However, there is some good news. I'm going to give you a little knee update. I went and saw an orthopedic surgeon. Um, either the ER doctor who initially saw my knee and did the first x-rays misread the x-rays or I had a little miracle in between that and seeing the orthopedic specialist because I got more x-rays from the orthopedic specialist's office instead of having two fractures I only have one instead of having torn ligaments I have a sprained limited limited a, a sprained lim ligament and if it is torn it's just might be just a little bit torn and it's not torn in two so it will heal I don't need surgery the bottom line is that I don't need surgery and all I need is physical therapy so I feel very blessed like I say I just I just feel like someone's watching over my knee <laughs> and uh, I just I'm, I'm thrilled that it's not any worse it's it could have been a lot worse and in fact I the ER doctor insinuated that it was a lot worse than it ended up being and I'm just I'm very happy with the orthopedic surgeon results we also did our craft fair last night and uh, it was okay it was um, slow slow yeah we didn't get oh by the by say hi Edie. hi I'm okay. driving she's driving in the front seat where I hope to be again one day when I'm a big girl um, it was a little slow but the lady in the booth next to us said that that's how this particular craft fair is sometimes some weeks it's slow some weeks it's really good and she also gave us some names of other craft fairs in the area that we can uh, sign up for so we can um, try those out so we're excited about that opportunity as well she really liked our stuff too oh yeah she really liked our our product she the Edie's crochet stuff and my own stuff she even said and I'm gonna brag a minute right here but she even uh, graduated from college with a degree in design and part of the design courses was that you had to take some sewing courses and she was lurking lurking man I can't speak today she was looking at some of the things that I have sewn the purses and the makeup bags and and those things and she said these are very good quality so that was very nice to hear yeah, she even said she was sitting there staring at him for a while wondering where we had purchased them from because they look so professional we just make things but that was for Sandy she was really impressed with the sewing quality I don't know if you heard what Edie said because she's not right by me she's in the front seat driving but she said that the lady at the booth next to us kept staring at the, uh, before we actually started visiting a lot she was staring at, at the things that I had sewn and wondering where we had bought them because they are um, looked really good quality to her and, and no we didn't buy them we make all of our stuff like the Edie crochets I sew and that's what we do and that's what we love so anyway that was that was good news we have another craft fair coming up in a few days and uh, we're excited about that one as well and we'll keep you posted on that um, while we've been out of town we have found out that that a huge rain hit our little town so we're very excited about that as well that will help hopefully it got rid of the grasshoppers yeah hopefully it got rid of the grasshoppers and hopefully it really helped the firefighters with the rest of the fire on the mountain so um, so there's good news on the knee good news for the firefighters Maybe when we get back home someday, we'll find out that there aren't so many grasshoppers in our yard. Um, and maybe our garden will even survive. And exactly, maybe we'll get some of our, I don't know about the things, oh, the melons last year were so good. I don't know if we'll get those, but we're still hoping and praying that the sweet potatoes and the onions and the carrots that grow underground will survive and maybe even the other things will maybe we'll have a di another um, uh, growing what's it called another oh, a, a second, a second sprouting of, of the of the melons and the um, oh the peas oh the peas are so good they were so good last year it's like uh, you just pull them off the vine they're like candy I know nobody will believe that but it's 
Because candy is candy and peas are peas, but I don't care. But like seriously, candy. we would we would pick them off the vine in the backyard and stand there and eat them. Very few of them actually made it back into the house because we just, they were so good, so sweet and good. And the zucchini, I really hope we get the zucchinis. I'm not holding out too much hope for it because, like I say, everything was eaten down to the ground. But the zucchinis, I would grate those up and put them in freezer baggies and put them in our freezer. And when I'd make muffins, I'd just pull out and I'd measure them for it to, to go in the recipes for my mush, mushrooms. Holy cow. Muffins. And, um, and then when I needed to make another batch of muffins, I'd just pull them out and thaw them out and throw them in with everything else. It was, it was wonderful to have those zucchinis and the carrots. I'm really hoping the zucchinis and the melons and the peas make it. But we'll keep you posted on that as well. <clears throat> so anything else, Edie? Uh, that's it for now. All right. We will. Oh, I did get another thing. I got a new leg brace. I swear to you, I look like I have a bionic leg now. Let me see if I can show you. sturdy and it allows me to bend my knee a little bit so that um, I can get back to to functioning at full throttle. So anyway, that is the update for now. We will keep you updated on everything else too and we'll talk to you soon. So we're at the fair. Just some things, some of the booths. No, look, there's Edie eating some freeze dried fruit. And here's our booth. We're going to walk around and get some pictures of some of the other booths too, so we'll show you those as well. <laughs> 